Hello everyone, in this presentation we are going to discuss about how to control the position of the servo motor using a microcontroller. So here we know that uh, when we talk about DC motor, the speed control of the DC motor is done through PWM and the direction of rotation of the DC motor is varied by using H bridge. But here in the servo motor which is meant for position control, so the PWM itself is used for direction control which we are going to discuss with the demonstration here. So this is the servo motor which is commercially available which is Tower Pro SG90 servo motor right. So this servo motor contains three pins as you see here and uh, when we talk about the power supply related details means here we can see there are three pins red pin, ground pin, red pin is uh, supply voltage and brown, brown color uh, pin is uh, ground pin and the orange color is a PWM pin. So here we have the same uh, servo motor. Here we have a red, uh, brown and orange. So this red, brown and orange is connected to so another connector. So here red wire is white wire and brown wire is black wire. So white is power supply plus and black is ground and the orange is connected by grey wire which is connected to the PWM pin. So here you can see, so the white and the black are connected to the ground pin as we see. So white is connected to 5 volts power supply as we see here. White is connected to 5 volt power supply as we see here. This is white which is connected to 5 volt power supply. And this is the black pin which is connected to ground as we see here and uh, the grey color pin is connected to the P2.1 where we are generating the pulse modulation because grey color is the orange color wire with respect to the specifications. So there are three pins, two pins are power supply, one PWM. So when we talk about the PWM as we see in the screen, it is a 20 millisecond uh, period. So the PWM period is 20 millisecond which is 50 hertz. For controlling the servo motor, we have to provide 50 hertz signal, PWM signal. So, the duty cycle should be 1 to 2 milliseconds. If you see the duty cycle, duty cycle should be 1 to 2 milliseconds. So, when it is 1 millisecond, it will produce 0 degree uh, turn. When it is 2 milliseconds, it will produce 180 degree turn. So, pulse width between 1 millisecond and 2, two millisecond will produce 0 degree and 180 degree phase difference as we see here with respect to the data sheet. Position 0 is the middle and 2 millisecond pulse is middle on the way to the right and 1 millisecond pulse on the way to the left. Okay. So approximately 1 millisecond, 1 millisecond means 0 degree, 2 millisecond means 180 degree. So when the width of the pulse is varying from 1 millisecond to 2 millisecond, the angle varies from 1 degree to angle varies from 0 degree to 180 degree something like that we need to understand okay so let us look at one uh, the demonstration here here in this 8051 microcontroller kit 2.0 the microcontroller 2.0 pin is used for pwm and 2.1 is for a switch and 2.2 is used for switch. It is something like a gate opening and closing experiment that we have done with the servo motor. So when we press the open switch, when we press the open switch, it will open the door. So you can see. So now I am pressing the open switch, door is open. So when you press the close switch, door is closed. Here you can see door is closed. So pressing the open switch, door is open 90 degree. Pressing the close switch, door is closed. In the, in the opposite direction. So opening the door means 0 to 90 degree. Closing the door means 90 degree to 0 degree. So pressing open button, opening the door, pressing close button, closing the door. So like this any position control can be done just like that with the help of simple 85 microcontroller itself as we as as it is being demonstrated here now. So as we see here once again so when I press open switch, 
servo motor is rotating 90 degree when i press close switch servo motor is rotating another 90 degree in opposite direction so just because of the pulse with the modulation so 1 millisecond duty cycle 0 degree 2 millisecond duty cycle 180 degree something like that you need to understand so we have written a code in 8051 microcontroller to produce this thing so this is the code which we have to understand with respect to this so this code as we discussed right now so this is p2.0 is for pwm pin assigned for pwm and 2.1 is an open switch that means to open the door and 2.2 is to close the door open the door means what it has to rotate 90 degree close the door means it has to rotate anti-clockwise 0 degree so as usual there is a simple delay routine delay of uh, delay routine in the void main we have used the timer uh, 0 we have used a timer 0 to produce a period of 20 millisecond use the timer 0 to produce a period of 20 millisecond so timer 0 interrupt is being used hence timer 0 interrupt is being initialized by writing a e equal to 0 x 82 and timer 0 is used as a 16 bit timer mode for the period okay so timer 1 is used for used in an 8 bit auto reload mode for a duty cycle so to configure timer 1 in 8 bit auto reload mode and timer 0 in 16 bit timer mode the t mode register is written with the value 0 x 21 and for producing a 20 millisecond time delay for producing the 20 millisecond time delay the reload value of b1 df is loaded in the th0 and tl0 to produce 20 millisecond time delay that means we are loading 45535 we are loading 45535 and then we are switching on the timer so after 20,000 counts it will overflow which is equal to 20 millisecond which is the period so when it overflows it goes to the interrupt service routine in the interrupt service routine we are looking after the on period or off period of the that means in the interrupt service routine decides the duty cycle okay so let us go to the interrupt service routine here here uh, timer 0 interrupt service routine is written here this is the interrupt service routine here we have made the pwm pin s1 we have made the pwm pin s1 and then we are reloading the 45535 to produce uh, another interrupt in another next uh, 20 millisecond and then we are starting the timer 1 in 8 bit auto reload mode so here inside the for loop we are waiting for the timer to overflow n number of times that is x number of times what is x x is the value that we are giving in while pressing the switch so here you can see in the main routine in the main routine if you see when the open switch is 0 it means what is the open switch when p2.0 is 0 so you can see this is open switch when p2.1 is the open switch when this p2.1 is pressed means it will become 0 when this becomes 0 we are putting the value as x equal to 3 so why 3 means when it is 8 bit auto reload mode once in 250 microseconds it will overflow so 250 500 750 so 750 microseconds which is equal to 0.75 millisecond so for 0.75 milliseconds means it is uh, 90 degree when it is 0 millisecond it is 0 degree so we are giving x equal to 3 for 0.75 milliseconds and when the close switch is pressed we are making uh, x equal to 0 for producing 0 millisecond so approximately 1 millisecond for open and close this 1 millisecond is enough to produce the 90 degree turn in the servo motor so this x value is taken into the for loop and uh, if x is 3 this for loop will run up to 3 times and uh, every time it produces 250 millisecond sorry 250 microsecond so once if it comes out from the for loop means duty cycle is over duty cycle time has occurred so then you are clearing the pwm as 0 and then we are stopping the timer 1 and then we are returning back from the 
interrupt service routine. So this is being continued. So let me run this code. So when I am compiling and building, after getting zero error and zero warning, this we can uh, simulate in the simulator and then we can test it in the hardware also. Here you can see here uh, P2.0. So let me run this code. So when I am running this code and then I am pressing the open switch. I am pressing the open switch which is P2.1. When I am pressing the open switch, we can able to see we can able to see the pulse width. We can able to see the pulse width up to some extent, right? We can able to see the pulse width as you see here. You can see the pulse width like this. So when it is open, the pulse width is like this, as you see here. That means pulse width is somewhat uh, wider. So when I am close pressing the closing switch, when I am pressing the closing switch, when I press the close switch, now I am pressing the close switch. You can see the width is decreasing. You can see the width is decreasing. So open switch. Pressing the open switch, the pulse width increases. If you want to look it uh, in depth, now you can see the width is more, right? Without the pulse is more, you see, without the pulse is more because the open switch is pressed. Now, when I press the close switch, when I press the close switch, you can see when I press the close switch, and I am running this code means and I am pressing the close switch and I am running this code means let me run this code once again when I am pressing the close switch and when I run this code you can see I am just running this I am pressing the open switch I am pressing the close switch this is how it works after downloading this code, right? After downloading this code into the kit, and then if we use this, when I press this open button, it opens. When I press this close button, it closes. So opening, closing. So here the position control of the servo motor from 0 to 90 degree is working fine. So this can be used to for wiping the mirror, which can be used as a wiper or which can be used for mopping or any position control applications it can be used so which is achieved with the help of generating the PWM using uh, ID51 microcontroller with the help of both timer 0 and timer 1 timer 0 is used for producing the uh, period of 20 millisecond and timer 1 is used for producing the duty cycle duty cycle is decided by the switch open switch and close switch when the open switch is pressed duty cycle value we are fixing it as x equal to 3 when the closer switch is pressed we are fixing the duty cycle value as x equal to 0 so this number is multiplied by 250 microsecond so 250 microsecond into 3 750 microseconds so 0.75 milliseconds so the time difference the between the open switch and closer switch is close to 1 millisecond so it turns 90 degree that is why in the servo motor output if we see when I press the open switch, it turns 90 degree. When I press the close switch, it turns 90 degree. So this is how, with the help of PWM, we can change the uh, angle of the servo motor as shown. Thank you.